More than a dozen people were arrested in Plimpton when things got very heated during the strike at Cisco Foods. WBZ's Katrina Kincaid has the latest. This is the first time that anyone's been arrested during the almost three weeks of protests happening outside of here. The Teamsters tell us that things this morning just got a little out of hand. A fair day's pay for a fair day's work, worth of work. That's all we want. Plimpton police say that 16 to 20 people were arrested from disorderly conduct to assault and battery. More than 400 local and national Teamster union members were here early this morning. They said in a statement, police allow the union workers to protest in front of leaving trucks for a couple of minutes before letting each one through. But this morning, protesters say it got a little rowdy. Well, minor action down there. It was nothing severe. At the end of the day, the officers in Plimpton and, and the surrounding towns they used common sense in what they did, and they, they took the people out that were, you know, being a little too boisterous. They told us they've been out here for around 17 days. The Teamsters told us they're asking for the same fair wages as other trucking and delivery companies and have been in contact with Cisco drivers around the country to compare contracts. They have negotiations with Cisco Foods tomorrow and are hoping for a positive outcome. I'm hoping we, that, you know, Cisco comes up to their senses and comes up to the numbers that we need to be at. Just, I mean, just so that we can live a comfortable life. We don't have to struggle paycheck to paycheck to paycheck. Police say there is still no danger to the public and they will continue to monitor the strike throughout the day and night. In Plimpton, Katrina Kincaid, WBZ News.